Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to explain to you how you can alter the global setting to fix the time zone for all the future SharePoint sites that you create within your organization. Uh, first, I'll show you uh, where the setting is and how to uh, fix it. Uh, but then I will explain to you the impact, right? Because the impact might not be that obvious. Uh, so first, uh, let me uh, show you how to uh, fix the time zone setting. So uh, you need to obviously be a SharePoint admin uh, to fix that. Uh, let's navigate to the admin center. And then we navigate to the uh, SharePoint admin center. All right. And uh, under settings and then under site, site creation, uh, you uh, this is where you can fix the default time zone. Now, I already fixed it. All right, I am in Eastern US uh, time zone, but by default, by default, uh, when you just sign up for your Microsoft 365 account, uh, all the you know essentially defaults to the Pacific time zone. All the sites you create uh, will always default to the Pacific uh, time zone. Now you can fix it later, but um, you know essentially, if you want to globally fix it, you have to fix it, uh, you know, here. And this will only impact future sites. Very important, not the, you know, current ones. Uh, only the future sites. So uh, and let me show you essentially when let's say we create a brand new site. All right, let's say it's I don't know team site doesn't really matter. All right, so under advanced settings uh in the time zone uh once again you never really go here you just create a site or your users create site create sites and by default it will always be pacific and the reason i think it's pacific because microsoft's uh, headquarters are on the west coast right uh in pacific us time zone so that's why it always defaults to pacific obviously this is not true for most of us right uh, who are located in other us time zones or uh anywhere else in the world so uh, make sure to fix it, right? Make sure to fix it. Uh, and uh, like I, you know, uh, like I already mentioned, I already fixed it. Uh, you know, globally, that's why all my sites are created uh, in in the proper time zone. Uh, now, a uh, couple of things, couple of things I wanted to mention. So, first of all, I want to explain to you the impact of this time zone. Uh, the um, you know, the, the time zone uh, in SharePoint uh, is extracted from the user, you know, from the user's settings who is logged in, all right? So, uh, for example, I want to show you something here. Uh, this is a team site that I created, uh, and this site was created in Pacific time zone, all right? So, uh, you know, uh, my organization is an Eastern time zone, but just for this demo, I created uh, this site in the Pacific time zone. Uh, so uh, what uh, what it means is that uh, essentially, you know, any dates uh, and well, and times, I guess, specifically times, um, in theory, would be displayed in Pacific time zone, but they're not. And let me tell you why. Uh, the reason for that is because um, it extracts. It's a, essentially it's smart enough, uh, even though you you know created your site in a particular time zone. Uh, the uh, date and time would be in the time zone of the user who is logged in. And because I'm logged in and I happen to be in Eastern time zone, it displays to me the time zone uh, in the proper, essentially in, in my in, in Eastern uh, you know, in Eastern time, all right? And let me show you where that is configured, right? How to configure, uh, this is once again, this is not actually an admin setting, this is more for user setting. Uh, but let me show you, each user can obviously alter their own time zone. Let me show you. You just click on your profile picture and uh, click view account. And you can obviously alter a bunch of settings here, but under settings and privacy, right here. This is the setting, right? So this is what tells SharePoint and Outlook, hey, I am in Eastern time zone. And essentially, it will properly display the time, to, you know, to me. Even though, even though um, the site maybe was created in uh, in a 
different uh, essentially time zone. So you might be wondering, well, what's the purpose of this then, right? I mean, it doesn't really matter what time zone the site has been created in because at the end, it doesn't really matter. Well, it kind of does, and let me explain to you why. Uh, in your tenant, you might have unlicensed users, right? Some of the users just might not have the license. They might still have access to SharePoint. They just don't have an Office 365 license. So they do not uh, have the luxury of you know, altering their uh, settings, right? Because they are not licensed. Another use case, external users. Uh, I just actually wanted to show you something. So look at the dates and times I have, uh, have uh, you know, listed here. Once again, they're in Eastern time zone. And I happen to share this folder with this files to an external user right here. Uh, here's an example uh, of uh, external user you see who has access to the same you know files and folders because this folder was shared with uh, with this user. Look at the dates and times. Uh, well, at the times I guess you see it says 4 a.m. You know 3 a.m. That's because it's in Pacific. All right. And why is that? Well, because external users do not have a luxury. Right? They don't have uh, an Office, a Microsoft 365 account to manage. So um, they uh, essentially cannot alter the time zone setting. So for them, it will always be displayed. It will default to the site time zone, essentially the time zone that was specified in the global admin center. So that's why in those few scenarios, it is super important, super important to still get the time zone right, even though once again, for most of your users, it's not going to matter because uh, once again, it's going to rely on their personal profile, but personal account, you know, and that time zone they set there. But for those unlicensed users and external users, it's super important to get the, you know, uh, in my opinion, you know, the time zone right. Now, um, like I mentioned earlier, uh, this setting over here, when you alter that setting, it only impacts the future site. All right. Uh, so any sites created before that setting was altered uh, would, will still, um, you know, be, uh, you know, kind of the Pacific time zone, I guess. All right. Um, it will still uh, be the, the old uh, time zone set. So how do you fix it if the site has been already been created? At this point, you have to navigate to that particular site, all right, and essentially fix it at the site level, all right, and you have to do it site by site. Uh, so I happen to be on the site. The site was created in Pacific time zone. You click the gear icon, site information, view all site settings, and then regional settings, all right. And we're kind of going behind the scenes and over here, this is where you can fix the time zone. And let me change it now to the proper one. All right, just like that. So now no, it doesn't matter whether I have licensed users or you know internal employees or unlicensed users or external employees, doesn't really matter. Uh, essentially, the time will always be displayed in Eastern. All right, then actually, you know what? Let me now go back to this external user. And this is what it used to be. <clears throat> Let's fix it. I just click the refresh button. Look at this. Uh, now uh, it's all in Eastern time zone. All right. Uh, and uh, even though this user cannot uh, alter the setting, now I changed it You know, for this user because I essentially made it Eastern uh, time zone for everyone. Doesn't really matter whether you're licensed or not. All right. Perfect. So that's all I wanted to share in this particular video. Hopefully you learned something new. As always, happy to see you on my blog. SharePointMaven.com as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.